Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will implement a full adder combinational circuit. The limitations of half adder can be overcome in a full adder combinational circuit which has three inputs A, B, and carry in, and two outputs sum and carry. Components required are to implement full adder combinational circuit are, breadboard, power supply, 4x DIP switch, and gate IC7408, X or gate IC7486, or gate IC7432, two LEDs and two resistors 220 ohms each. Let us connect the power supply to power rails on the breadboard. Mount the IC chips on the breadboard. Connect the power pins VCC and ground of each IC to the power rails on the breadboard. Let's use the DIPX4 switch for switching inputs A, B and carry in. The sum output of a full adder can be realized by taking XOR of all three inputs A, B, and carry in. The inputs A and B are connected to the input pins 1A and 1B of the XOR IC7486. The output of this operation is then XORed with the carry in input by connecting the output pin 1 to the input pin 2A and carry in input to the input pin 2B. The final sum output available at the output pin 2 is then connected to LED via a 220 ohm resistor for a visual indication as shown here. Write down the equation for carry output of the full adder so that you can realize this circuit easily. First, we will carry out the end operation of the inputs A and B by connecting the inputs to the input pins 1A and 1B of the end gate IC7408.
Next, we will carry out the end operation of the input carry in with XOR at output of A and B. This is realized by connecting the output 1 of XOR IC7486 to input 2A of end gate followed by connecting the input carry in to the input 2B of the end gate. Finally, we will perform the OR operation of the IN operations that we have performed by connecting output pins 1 and 2 of the IN gate to input pins 1A and 1B of the OR gate. The final carry output is realized at the output pin 1 of the OR gate IC7432 which is then connected to a LED via a resistor for a visual indication as shown here. That's it. Let us now simulate our circuit for various inputs. Hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates if not already subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.